Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2, not specifically, we're going to be looking at the TWAB. Now, I am trying to hold my excitement because I saw a few things that I'm really kind of hyped for. So, first and foremost, let's look at the rewards preview. Loot is the name of the game for many a guardian. Let, so let's, t let's get down to business. We'll be working with the Fallen this season, and we've got new armor pieces to earn. If you've ever wanted to embrace the Splicer lifestyle, this season will be your chance. So here is a photo of how the actual armor is going to look like the armor without any ornaments, I'm guessing. And then the the ones that we already know, this is going to be the, the ornamental armor from the season pass. They also wanted to let you know that uh, season armor, seasonal armor is not going to be dropping in the season pass, which I think is pretty good. Uh, season pass armor should be coming out from the, from the activity which is what, where it's gonna be dropping. So previously you would earn this armor by leveling your season rank and locking new pieces on the seasonal track. Moving forward, seasonal armor will be earned from seasonal activities. You'll also be able to guarantee pieces from these sets using focused umbral engram. Season rank levels that once featured armor have been updated with packages of glimmer, legendary shards, upgrade modules, exotic engrams, enhancement cores, and enhancement prisms. Universal armor ornaments will continue to be earned towards the end of the season pass which is the one i just showed you now let's talk uh tools of destruction there's still gold to find this is basically a new shotgun a new heavy machine gun and then the new exotic which uh i actually still don't know which one it is is it the is it the handgun or the sidearm is that the, actually the, yeah that might be it if you want a full full loadout of this style you we've got you covered new weapons will be available through the umbral engrams and override completions so uh, my own, I think my only gripe is we did not need a sidearm. We already have an exotic sidearm. I would have much preferred a hand cannon. That would have been fire. Um, literally anything else other than a sidearm, but whatever. And then we get to outside of override. There's even more legendary loot to claim. To start, you'll be you'll receive a new quest to earn the null composure and fusion rifle once the weapon is unlocked you can collect gambit and crucible and, and vanguard themed weapon ornaments to cu further customize your style so we're getting a fusion rifle for this season i'm kind of happy we haven't seen a fusion rifle to be fair fusion rifles are dog shit so i hope uh fusion rifles are getting a buff next season for pve and pvp so that way it can actually make it viable and not just something that collectors are going to get and then e immediately re like erase so I'm, I'm i'm pretty hype about that there are also weapons joining the current state of post game rewards for crucible or uh, gambit crucible and vanguard strikes in total there will be 12 legendary weapons to earn four per activity which is pretty cool um you guys see right now on the screen uh we get a we get a, we get a grenade launcher for vanguard a hand cannon for pvp and an smg for smg for a uh, gambit i'm pretty hyped for this not gonna lie mostly because that hand cannon looks like uh y'all already know which one it does look like so i'm excited if especially for the smg for gambit it definitely looks like the smg that you could get beforehand I'm wondering if you could put any skins on it. If we can, that's gonna be fire because I have, I have, like I don't remember the gun's name. I'll have it in the screen right now. But for the end game focus, guardians out there, three familiar weapons will be up for grabs. We have no doubt that Destiny One veterans among you will recall these legend legends in one instant. Like last season, each weapon will be on a weekly rotation in Nightfall playlist. Upping the difficulty will give you a higher chance as you search for desired roles. Starting June 20 22nd, Grandmaster Nightfalls will become available, introducing adept versions of each weapon. So, I I know like two of these. I don't remember the sniper's name, but I know because I used to have one. But we have Hung Jury, which is like one of my favorite guns from Destiny One, and I'm. I'm immediately like, okay, cool. Like, I'm gonna get this. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care if scout rifles are bad. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna use it all the time because, again, hung jury was that fucking good back in the day. I'm still mad that I can't find my hung jury in Destiny One. <clears throat> now, here's a part where we say and more. There are still more weapons left for you to discover as you play. Some of the best feelings in Destiny are those moments when you uncover a sweet weapon with perfect per combination. Uh. It basically is just saying we get new weapons. 
Yeah. So, patchwork. Each season brings opportunities to address long-standing feedback items or even make some back-end changes to prepare for bright futures. Destiny 2 Update 3.2.0 has quite a few bullets in the change list, and we'd like to highlight a few things we're excited to we're excited for. Let's dive in. Abilities, aspect, and fragments. Colorblind support. Stasis abilities now have colorblind support. Cool. Uh, player highlighting in the Crucible now has colorblind support. Cool. Subclass tuning. Hunters. The freeze detonation from Silence and Squall has been reduced from 12 meters to 8.5 meters. Just make the super even shittier. Enemy, enemy Squall now has a red ring to define area as it approaches. That's fine. Titans. Shiver Strike melee energy is now refunded when Glacial Quake ends. Mm -hmm. Fix an issue in which players can trigger Whisper of Torment by standing in an enemy's barricade or opponent's barricade. Warlock Shadebinder. Bleak Watcher aspect now grants two fragment slots. Chaos Reach. Fixed an issue with Chaos Reach that was allowing it to penetrate some thin walls or objects enough to, to damage or kill opponents in the other side. Bro, just nerf Chaos Reach. That shit is fucking busted. I fucking hate that shit. Oh my god. We'll talk about that later. Regarding future tuning plans, we also wanted to pull a word from Sandbox Discipline uh, lead Kevin Yanes. The Sandbox team is working on a slew of tuning updates over the next few seasons. We are we are aware of key points of feedback in PvE and PvP. In update 3.2.0, we have minor changes to stasis hunters and some bug fixes that you see above. Here's a few quick list of key places we're actively looking at for the future. Stasis freeze, low accuracy penalties, and whisper of hedrons. We will share more with you soon. <clears throat> So now back to the patch notes. Uh, nav mode, menu that appears when pulling out your ghost. So this is a update that I'm actually excited for because we actually get to see more of stuff that we're tracking. Separated bounties from quests in nav mode. All bounties now appear in nav mode. They no longer be tracked as, or they can no longer be tracked as a result. That's fine. Category switching on keyboard and mouse can now be controlled with the scroll wheel. That's cool. Track triumph now appears. Oh my god, really? Huh. So I'm excited for this just because I'm tired of going to the map, going to the bounty side and like, okay, what do I need to complete? Now I can just look at all this shit. Oh my god, yes. Uh, UI. Legends added to the director destination tab. This is where you'll find Vault of Glass in just a few weeks. Shortcut, shortcut between HUD quest step notifications and quest details screen added for keyboard and mouse users. 6v6 crucible activities have an updated intro experience. What? Cycle through your teammates to view metrics associated with the activity you're entering. Helm now appears in the director destination tab, moved from the tower map, and has its own map. Okay. Focused umbral engrams and prismatic recaster. Umbral engrams now auto decrypt when focused via the pr prismatic recaster. Interesting. The visual states for focusing options on the prismatic recaster have been streamlined to reduce visual clutter and confusion. Cool. Glory, Valor, and Infamy. These changes are a precursor to some larger improvements planned for Season 15, introducing Vanguard Reputation, rebalancing Infamy to bring a reset in line with Valor, and more. We'll have more information on those changes in a few months. Glory and Valor and Infamy reputations have had their internal systems rebuilt to a unified implement implementation. In game, players should expect minimal or perceived changes. I don't know what this all means, but <clears throat> Glory Glory playlists no longer block Valor win streaks from declining. That's cool. The Valor badge now, now appears on the Trials launch screen. Okay, Infamy win streak is now linear, plus 35 points per win. Glory win streak bonus is now linear to plus 20 points per win. With the event eventual update to Vanguard up reputation, players should be ready to spend their Vanguard tokens during season of the Splicer. I'm guessing that's next season, like after the this season. Okay. Eververse, Eververse archive filtering. Players can now easily filter the offerings in the storefront archive tab. Per numerous community requests, we added many exotic weapon and armor ornaments from previous seasons to the archive tab <laughs> okay 
Bright Ingram, spawn effects and shaders are now standalone items in Bright Ingrams. They've always been, what are you talking about? Bright Ingrams no longer decrypt into duplicates of these items. I don't believe you, but okay. Small amount of glimmer will be awarded when decrypting Bright Ingrams. Do you mean you, you can get, so does this mean you can get a small amount of glimmer instead of an item or it's just additive? Because if I get small amount of glimmer with a shader, I'm gonna lose my mind. General things, Momentum Control and Team Scorched have returned and will be available as part of the weekly playlist rotation. Added repeatable bounties to Sean Han in the Cosmodrome, fixed an issue causing vaulted gear to erroneously drop from strike unique loot lists. Added a full suit of trace rifle focused armor mods to the game. Patch notes are planned to drop in full around 10 a.m. next Tuesday, right alongside the season of the Splicer. And one more thing before we go, while the following won't happen in update 3.2.0, we have some news concerning the 2018-2019 Solstice of Heroes Armor Glow. In the April 22nd TWAB article, it was stated that the armor glows are the that glow motherfucker. It was stated that glows for these armor sets would not be supported by armor synthesis due to technical issues. Since the new 2020 armor armor ornaments were very well received. We were able to rework and rebuild how 2018 and 2019 glows worked and address the community's request. <clears throat> Our current plan is to make these glows into universal ornament sets, like 2020 Solstice of Heroes universal ar armor ornaments. This fix will be some have some limitations. These ornaments will not be updated to support stasis, but will support solar arc and void subclasses. In addition, the granted ornaments will be for the legendary armor set for each year only. Players who acquired any subclass type glow for that year will receive the correspondent legendary universal ornaments for all three classes. Uh, <clears throat> okay, what? Okay. So that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It, I didn't think it was gonna be that short, but beginning in season of the splicer, we are overhauling our shader system and how shaders can be applied to armor due to the overhaul shaders will become permanent unlocks they're already permanent unlocks i don't know what the fuck you're talking about and all shaders in player inventories will be removed like i don't understand why they say it's permanent in lock unlocks now it's like it's always been permanent unlocks i just have to buy rebuy them all the time and it's like there's no difference like let's say i just want to take a shader out because i i'm never going to use it and then later down the road i'm gonna have to use it again i'm gonna have to rebuy it anyway so it's not even a permanent unlock like i don't understand their thought process on that it's literally them, them just just uh, justifying it oh we're gonna charge it up in price that's really it um but even though even though i was a little bit negative there i'm excited for hung jury i'm excited for the omalon sniper i forget what like the name escapes me but i'm i'm about it i'm really excited for it I'm excited for the Gambit SMG only if it's like a lightweight. I only like lightweights because I think the the magazines are way too fucking small. The new or, or the new uh, what's it called? The new weapon, the fusion rifle. I'm I'm kind of excited for it. Not gonna lie. Uh, only to see like what's gonna what it's gonna drop with. Uh, that's really it. I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of fusion rifles. I don't make it any secret. But I am excited for the stuff that's coming. Not only that, but the new weapons look really cool. This is like the sad part about seasons is the fact that we never see any, we never see more of that ar of that armor or weapon style. So it's always condensed into this one season, and then after that, you'll never see this cool armor or armor armor design or weapon design ever again. And it kills me because like i would love to see more of season of the splicer weapons like that's the only negative thing well there's a lot of negative things about seasons but that's one that really jumps to me not only that but the basic bitch armor for this for next season actually looks pretty hype i actually i think i actually like it better than the seasonal ornaments i like I'm not saying the seasonal ornaments look bad but we're, we're, we get to wear fur, bro. I'm about that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I will see you.